On today's episode of Project 380, I'll be finishing the intercooler pipes. When you hit boost in your turbo car, you create pressure from the turbo all the way to the throttle body. And when you let off, this pressure needs to go somewhere. So it, when you turbo your car, you need one of three things. You need a recirculating dump valve or an atmospheric dump valve or nothing. So I have chose just a cheap atmospheric dump valve. I've just chose a cheap-ish one for now uh, because in the future I'm not sure whether I am actually going to run one. Now that we've got the cold side of the inner cooler on we need to find a place for our dump valve. Uh, it needs to be as close to the throttle body as possible. I'm going to have a sensor that goes here so I'm going to have to allow room for that. I think there's good, it's away from the alternator, so I'm just going to mark that with a sharpie. Now I've taken the dump valve off, what we're going to do is line this flange up with the mark I've just made and then mark around the inside. The MX-5s use something called a mass airflow meter. Looks like this. A bit different on the Mark 1 1.6, they use a flat valve type. It's basically just a heated element inside that measures the temperature of the air and the flow of the air going inside. We are going to be replacing that with just an air temperature sensor right near the throttle body. To be able to use this, you do need a standalone ECU to control it. Now that I've got the dump valve tacked in, it's time to place where the air intake temperature sensor goes. Um, I've decided that I can't have it right here because of the length of the plug it's going to foul there. So I'm just going to move it around just slightly. So it turns out just drilling and tapping this thin pipe allowed the temperature sensor to leak from both the sides. So a buddy of mine made me a little M14 by 1.5 boss. To add the final little touch, I'm just going to make a bracket that goes from here to here to make sure my intercooler pipe doesn't go out this way, rub against the wheel or whatnot in excessive boost. handy little tip for you if you have got a boss you need to weld onto a bit of pipe but you've got no way of securing it down just simply use a jubilee clip get it in place and tighten it down just keep an eye on your positioning as you tighten it down Now that's all done, it's time to get it painted.
Now that it's all painted, we're going to give it the finishing touches and put a bit of gold heat wrap on it. We're going to use the gold heat wrap to try and keep the engine bay temperatures down a little bit and I'll show you how. I've positioned the intercooler pipe exactly where I want it so now I'm just going to mark off at the end of the silicon. First of all we want to determine what angle we're going to be looking at the pipe from most to make it more pleasing on the eye. So this is the part that attaches to the turbo, we're going to be focusing here whereas the rest we're not really going to see. So that means we're going to start from this end so it overlaps that way so that when, it, when we get up here all the overlaps are going to be underneath. To make it easier to cut your lengths of your gold wrap, take a bit of tape, more than you need, and wrap it as straight as you can around the pipe. And overlap it by five or ten millimeters. Take the tape off the pipe and place it on your workbench. Now you can use it as a guide to cut your tape. So remember where you're starting the wrap from. So I'm starting from here upwards. Place it just overlapping your mark. Press it round gently, looking out for creases and air bubbles. On the straight bits of pipe, I like to overlap it by 5 or 10 millimetres. When it comes to a bend, it starts getting a little bit more difficult. I'm going to concentrate on starting my wrap from the centre of the outside of the bend and working inwards. To do this, I'm taking a normal length of the wrap and slicing it into four bits. I've drawn a center line so I can work off of that. So we're just going to place the center of this, not overlapping by 5 or 10 mil, only overlapping by a little bit. And working from this center line round.
looking pretty good on that bend. But now we're going to start working on the bit that you can see from the engine bay. So I've drawn an imaginary line on the outside of this bend so that all our overlaps are around the back and won't be seen. Well, I ran out of tape, which sucks. So a little bit of advice if you are wrapping your intercooler pipe or your headers, order more than you think. Because of the overlap of the tape, it does require a lot more than you think. Well, I'm sure you all don't want to wait another week just for me to get some tape to finish this episode, but that is pretty much the intercooler piping done. So hang around for the next episode. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. Have I gone too, Roy, sir? <laughs>